Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning, viewers, and praise the Lord. It's a long time since we've been able to catch up on this platform. I believe you've been keeping well and you are well in the name of Jesus. So this morning, I want to share with us a devotion on our morning encounter. My name is Reverend Elpas Bire, all the way from Sitam Eldoret. Our sharing will come from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 4 to 5. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 4 to 5. And the Bible says this, How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye. You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. A very common passage which I want us to begin um, uh, our devotion this morning, this week. And I want to speak about dealing with Self-deception, dealing with self-deception. Many times we see people, uh, many rumors about many people, and we ask ourselves or we ask them, why have they not done the right thing? Instead of us asking, what is it that we are not doing right? We're just in a political season, just in the last few weeks. I think the nomination and the approval of those who have been qualified to run for different set, seats has been a talk of the day in the social media. But of great importance is the issue of papers. Uh, many are asking uh, of certain people uh, whether they were qualified, whether they validly graduated. One of my friends even opted to voluntarily just be able to put his certificate and graduation at least to prove to the people that uh, he actually graduated. But today I want us to look at self-deception. You can be deceived by looking at the mistakes of many other people. In this passage, Jesus speaks and he says, you have concentrated busy looking at other people until you cannot see that yourself maybe need something to do. And this morning, I want to challenge you. Not that others are not having challenges, but what is it that I can do on my end that can improve my lifestyle and the people around me rather than looking at what others have not done right and just seeking to disqualify them from the rest and yet maybe you are not even part of the stakeholders that are meant to actually look at their certificate. So sometimes there are many blind spots in our lives and there are many of them. But I want you to start looking at that rather than looking at what people have not been doing. Because there are those that are graduated and we are, they, they, we are not even working very hard every day to be able to see, am I contributing to the economy of this nation? In the church setting, what is the role that I see, need to be able to participate in order for the church of Christ to be better rather than just looking at people that have wronged me, people that have not been able to visit me, people that have not been able to pray for me or with me, or even looking at what has not been done. Look at what should I have done and you will avoid self-deception. Self-deception is a great challenge. It blocks you seeing the clearly from what you are supposed to actually see. So you see the log in the eyes of other people and yet fail to see the small speck that is in your own eye. I want you to address the small speck in your eye this morning. You see, what is it that you're supposed to do at your family level, at your organizational level, at where you live, and the Lord will bless you. So friends, I want to challenge you. Deal with self deception. Each one of us is battling something. Each one of us is battling a war. Each one of us is in need of a prayer. What is it that you can do? Can you wake up and pray? Can you wake up and go to the market? Can you wake up and see what you can contribute to your church? Can you wake up in the morning and pray even for this nation rather than complaining and seeing the many things that people are talking about so you don't end up being a rumor monger but a person that is able to contribute to the growth of where we are. 
I want us to pray this morning as we get into the day. Father, we thank you. We honor you this morning. I pray that you help me, O oh God. Help my listeners. That indeed, Lord, we are not going to be self-deceived by things we are hearing and seeing outside. So we are moving with the euphoria of the current trend rather than looking at what we need to do, O oh God. You have given us a role to be able to pray, a role to be able to sit and be able to advocate issues that are supposed to concern the church and you. And I pray that all of us are going to wake up to that light and see what they need to do rather than complaining and poking themselves in the issues of other people to the extent that we become blinded, oh God. We worship you and we ask you to bless us this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a good day. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.